Hello. This is Ricky Klein, the Cassette Master. And in this video, I'm going to show my breadboards. Here is a small breadboard, a basic breadboard, the Archer Universal breadboard. I got this breadboard in probably 2002 and it's very nice. It's a nice rubber feet on the, ba the back or the bottom and it's indeed it's a very nice breadboard and it's a US made breadboard. Next up, I show my biggest breadboard. My Global Specialties breadboard, model PB-105. I got this one in around Christmas time in 2004. Bought new. It was $70 then. It's a very nice breadboard and I've added wires to go to all the rails for power and I've used permanent marker to mark red and black for plus and minus on all the rails as can be seen in the video. Here's the back it has five rubber feet. Here is my next biggest breadboard, the Powered Project Board that I built in 2004. I did get some help from a friend to bend the metal and drill these holes for the switch and the online, but basically I built this thing myself for the most part, the circuitry and mounting the boards and whatnot. It is a positive and negative 1.2 to 18 volt DC as a ground, a plus, and a minus. It uses these individual breadboards from Radio Shack. As you can see, there is a chip burn from an amplifier chip that overheated or, at, or got hot. It didn't break, I don't think, but it got hot and melted the board a little bit there. And right there, that's where the negative voltage is applied on that tiny breadboard piece. And the ground is um, the one marked in black, and the plus, of course, is in red, marked with permanent marker on the boards for all the rails to be hooked up. This I bought in 2010, and I got this at an estate sale. This is a very, very old breadboard, probably from the 80s or something. It's the um, what's called the Digital Exerciser. It has a built-in 5-volt power supply. These built-in LEDs. Um, has a pulser which will send out a pulse when you move the switch and these different switches here switch on for each of these little breadboards here it's very nice of course you have power supply and it, you know it does its 5 volt regulated built-in power supply now, and then here is our bought from the same estate sale as the digital exerciser is the analog exerciser from the National Institute of Technology and it has a built-in um, dual power supply 
uh, plus and minus 12 volts. So it has a uh, ground, a plus and a minus. And it has a built-in function generator for sine, sawtooth, or it's triangle, whatever, and square waves. The range of frequencies, adjustment for the frequency, offset, I'm not sure what offset is, and the level. And it is very nice. So, that has been a video showing my different breadboards. Very, very nice to have these breadboards. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.